afternoon. All right, so we are talking about asbestos. If you're looking at buying a house which was built in the 50s, 60s or 70s, or living in one built in that time period, it will have asbestos in it. And even if it's been renovated back in the day, I'm not saying it happens now, but I have seen people just lay gyp rock straight over the top of gyp of uh, asbestos, making it look all fresh and new and renovated and but leaving this behind because it's a bit more expensive to get rid of. But you've got to understand that there was a reason why they used this material back in the day, especially in these seaside or suburbs like Labrador and Southport, which was built in that time frame. This stuff doesn't rust, doesn't break down, doesn't compact. And I'm standing in 3 First Avenue, which was actually built the same year I was, 1963. And this place will probably be standing well, before, well after I'm gone, because this stuff just doesn't go away. Yes, you've got to be careful with it. You can't go drilling holes, you can't go cutting stuff in it because it's dangerous. But having said that, if you leave it alone, it's an inert product and can do a very good job. Some people, like I guess I saw a builder the other day, he wanted to just, he was just drilling some holes in asbestos and he put Vaseline over it because the Vaseline picks up all the fibres as the drill bit's coming in and out of the hole. So there's little tricks like that you can do. You can get rid of about eight square metres of this stuff yourself. So if you're pottering away at home and you want to do a kitchen or a bathroom, you can remove this yourself, wrap it up, take it to the local tip and they'll allow you to dispose of it. Any more than that, then you've got to get a professional guy in. And of course that is more expensive. Lots of houses in this area have gone through the process of being stripped bare to the bone because the wooden hardwood frame behind here is still in excellent condition because termites hate it. And some of those renovated homes have been sold for remarkable prices here. And some are mind boggling, but congratulations to the owner for doing the right thing. So this is not in itself a dangerous product if you leave it alone. So don't treat it with fear, treat it with respect. And if you are thinking about selling, then you need to take this into consideration because Southern buyers in particular, 99 times out of 100 will just run scared when they hear the asbestos world. Like apparently the Canberra government bought a whole heap of houses that were owned by people that were asbestos and stripped them out. So when that sort of activity happens by a government, it makes people worry. But if you live here on the coast, you've been, a, a, you've been around this all your life. There's one lady across the road, she's 76, lived in the asbestos house her entire life. And that's indicative of these areas. So don't be scared of it. Just be aware of it, treat it with respect. And this place, as I said, give it a coat of paint and it'll be looking like this in 50 years time where I'll probably be in a wheelchair. But anyway, have a great day.